yeah, I had a talk today at Roscon. Uh, came here to Kyoto to talk about the autonomous tag we released uh, with uh, within our research group. The kind of problems we're looking into are like how do you fly uh, drones in forests uh, under the canopy of the trees where GPS is degraded, and uh, what kind of of, uh, of uh, autonomy you can you can implement in your UEVs in these kind of very uh, difficult difficult conditions. We are using PX4. Uh, PX4 is a key component for uh, our system, uh, and uh, uh, we use PX4 in two of our drones. And in the talk, I explain how we we use PX4. This is a synchronized uh, a stereo camera, stereo pair, plus uh, an IMU. And uh, on top of that, as I mentioned, we use uh, um, use PX PixHawk for uh, our flight controller. The piece of code that I presented in my talk are. Uh, how we interface our control stack or SO3 uh, position controller with uh, PX4 and PX4, uh, PX4 makes this really, really easy for, for us. So we have for this talk, we are using uh, PX4 in attitude mode and we are uh, feeding in uh, angles, uh, rates and thrust into the flight controller. And the magic of PX4 is that we forget uh, everything uh, downstream uh, to communicate with, with with the motors and so on and with the with the ESCs and and everything works quite well in attitude mode for, for us. By using ROS you are able to leverage the power of the community, uh, all the pieces of code that are available out there and uh, we couldn't do uh, such a good work with the flight controllers if we have to do something something in-house. So by leveraging the power of the community uh, we're able to do progress much faster and uh, reach goals that, that we are not able to, to reach if we had to do it uh, ourselves. Uh, so one of our objectives of this talk is to like show the community what we are able to achieve with these open open source stacks. So some of our research is uh, using high altitude UAVs that we use to map uh, areas uh, for uh, to create semantic maps, aerial semantic maps of, of these areas, and we also use uh, um, uh, PX4 for for those UAVs, uh, and we use also uh, like that, that's those are GPS. Uh, drones that have GPS, so we use the full um, uh, position control provided by, by PX4 and we create missions with uh, q ground control for, for our uh, UAVs to, to follow. Yeah, That's a good question for our, um, uh, our multiple robot uh, systems. Uh, what we do is that we're transmitting, for instance, the, the high altitude UAV transmits uh, information to the uh, ground robots or low, low flying UAVs uh, and uh, for that we used uh, um, either um, ad, ad hoc Wi-Fi, uh, where the nodes communicate uh, sporadically, or we are using um, mesh mesh networking. And on top of that, what we're, what we're implementing is uh, uh, what we call a distributed database. That is a mechanism uh, to send messages from the different uh, robots in a gossip-like uh, architecture. So this database has proven to be quite, quite robust and uh, and yeah, this is how we, we communicate between, between different roads. Our team is, is huge. I think we have like uh, at least, uh, I would say more than 20 people. Uh, this this is by no means a, a project that I have done on, on my own. Mm -hmm. I, I was the only the, the lucky person to come here and present it for everybody. Uh, this is my first Roscon and honestly, it has been a, an amazing experience to meet in person with uh, all the uh, open source uh, developers, heroes that I have, uh, that I see from, from my desk in, in Philadelphia. I thank, uh, I thank you a lot for your hard work and uh, in particular for all the, the tools you have, you have put together. Uh, it makes our life way, way easier and we are uh, always looking for the next improvements to, to, to use it in our, in our autonomy stack and in our work. So thank you so much, I really appreciate your, 